What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing my first ever favorites video, so I guess I'll call this my maybe May favorites? Since we're only like a little bit through June, this will be my May favorites and I'll do another one next month. And I also want to mention that I'm going to link everything down below if I can find it. To start off with, this is going to be really cheesy, but this cup has been an absolute favorite of mine. Uh, this is the Starbucks cup. It's a venti size, I believe, and it's the reusable one. I got this from Costco. It came in a pack of two for 14, which is really good because I think in the store in Starbucks, I think they're $12 each, but I think they are extremely worth it. For some reason, I drink more water out of this than anything else. I think because it has a straw, I'm not quite sure, but I bring this to work with me, I bring it to the gym, I'm always carrying it around with me and I'm drinking like multiple liters of water a day. So I highly recommend this just to stay healthy and hydrated. I've just been really loving this and I've been recommending it to everybody. So I wanted to recommend it to you guys too. Next, I think I'm gonna go into hair. Recently, I got a haircut. I got about three inches cut off. So my hair is already feeling a little bit healthier, but since I do get highlights, um, which is a form of bleach, it does get dry really fast. So my hairdresser recommended Olaplex, and I had never tried this before, and you guys have probably all used it before, so this probably isn't a new thing to you, but if it is, then Olaplex is a bond builder. So it actually goes into the open, damaged cuticles, and it just repairs them all over your hair, wherever you put this in, and I cannot even tell you guys how much of a difference this has made. This particular one is the Olaplex number three, and this is the one that you can use at home. It's a tiny little bottle, but I swear this is like liquid gold your hair. The way that you want to use this is you want to put it on your hair damp. And what I did was I just went into the shower, I washed my body, washed my face, and then just got my hair wet. I didn't wash it or anything, I just got it wet. And then after towel drying it, you want to put this through the front especially, because that's usually where you get the most color, and then through the ends. You don't necessarily have to put it through the top, but if you want to, I guess you can. Um, and they say leave it in for a minimum of 10 minutes, but I actually sleep with this on. So I just put it all through my hair, kind of brush it through, make sure it's all coated, and then I wrap it up in a bun and I just sleep on it. And I've only used this once, and I used it two nights ago, and my hair has never felt this soft before. I wish I could explain to you guys the difference that it has made in my hair after one try, but it's just... Like, I, I can't even explain it. It just feels thicker, it feels shiny. People at work were even commenting on it. They're like, how do you have shiny hair when it's blonde? Because normally blondes have dry hair, and I was like, Olaplex number three, this is why. So I'm gonna be using this once a week. That's what my hairdresser recommends. And if any of you guys have color-treated hair, it doesn't have to be blonde, I highly, highly recommend using this. You can also ask your hairdresser to put this on at the bowl when they're washing you out, but it's about 30 something dollars just to get one treatment at the hair salon when you can just buy this for less at home and you can use it multiple times. So I recommend just buying this and using it yourself. The next item is also for hair and it's the good old scrunchie. And um, I was a little skeptical about buying these because I used to use these a long time ago. Um, when I was younger, but these do wonders for your hair. Normal hair ties um, actually break your hair and they kind of strangle it and they'll cause breakage wherever you put your ponytail. And so I've been using these lately instead and I absolutely love them. This is the brand I got. I just got these from Walmart. Um, they were about like three or four bucks and you get, I mean, a good amount. So I think it's worth it. I also have the ones that are like spiraled and really stretchy and those also are really good for your hair because they don't pull it but I just find these to be super gentle and they're nice when you're just lounging around the house they look cute on your wrist I've only really been using the nude one and then the white one I love the white one just on my wrist too it's just kind of a cute little <laughs> I don't know um, but I love these so they're very cheap and they're good for your hair and I just, I think everybody needs a scrunchie. If any guys are watching this, they're probably like, what the heck is she talking about? <laughs> um, but this can pertain to guys too. I highly recommend everybody wear sunscreen. This is my new favorite face um, SPF, and I have tried so many sunscreens for my face and it's so hard because I go to work, I have to wear makeup and I want my makeup to last throughout the day because I don't want to be like halfway through work and then look in the mirror and have my whole makeup just ruined and sliding off. So for my whole life, and I'm not very old, I'm only 22, but for my whole life I have been looking for a sunscreen to wear under my makeup that does not break me out and I have never found one and I found myself choosing every day between 
protecting my skin from the sun and breaking out. And every single morning that is a terrible decision to have to make. So I am so glad that I found this. I was recommended it by my coworker. So this is the one that I got L to MD. This is the box. It's SPF 46. Now, when you go to order this online, the cheapest place you'll find it is, is um, walmart.com, but I actually got this on Amazon. There are a lot of different types of this L to MD sunscreen, which is really nice. They have different SPF levels. They have different type of sensitivity. They have one that's for rosacea. They have one for acne prone skin. They have one that hydrates. So you can find the one that works for you. This one has transparent zinc oxide and that's what you really want in your SPF is the zinc oxide. My dermatologist told me just I'm just gonna go with what they're saying because they're right. <laughs> this is UVA UVB protection and I love it. Um, there's no white cast and it's not sticky, it's not gross, it's not thick and you can put your makeup on over it and you don't even know that you have sunscreen on. So I love this. I'm gonna be wearing this forever. I guarantee it. Call me in 20 years and I will still be wearing this. I promise. L to MD, if you wanna sponsor me, I'm open for it. <laughs> this is the box it came in. They have some squeezy tube ones, but I find these super nice, and it's a, like a really good travel size too. The next item I have is extremely random, but it's my favorite drink that I've gotten lately. It's the lemon ginger Cavita. I've actually never even said that word before. Cavita sparkling probiotic drink and I love this stuff. I'm a big fan of anything lemon and ginger. I drink ginger turmeric tea in the morning, but um, it's starting to get hot. I want something cold, and this is slightly bubbly too, so it's really nice. It's just a good probiotic. This comes in two serving sizes, so I just drink half of this at a time. They have other flavors. I've tried the turmeric. The turmeric's really strong, um, but this one is actually just like a good drink, and you don't really know it's actually a probiotic or healthy or whatever. Um, it's very refreshing. It's just like a healthy lemonade, but with ginger in it. And yeah, I love it. There's also kind of like a peachy one that's really good, but this one's my favorite. The next favorite I have is an article of clothing. And you guys are going to think I'm ridiculous, but these are my first pair of Levi's that I've ever gotten. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I got these from my local Levi's outlet, and I'm not sure how many of those exist, but if you can find one around you, I highly recommend going. The one problem I have with going to outlets, though, is it's really hard to find your size, especially if you're kind of like the average woman's size. It tends to be sold out. I've had to go a few times, but this last time I went and I got this color, which is like a light blue wash, and then I also got black ones, and they just fit so nice. I mean, Levi's were the first jeans ever invented. They know what they're doing. They've perfected it over lots of years. So I highly recommend these. These are the 721 High Rise Skinny Slim Through Hip and Thigh. They're originally pretty expensive and I got them for $49.99. And actually it was buy one, get one 50% off, I think, when I bought them. So it was a really good deal. I needed good jeans and they'll probably get better over time, I'm thinking. I've obviously never worn these because the tag's still on it, but I've worn the black ones, which are the same exact style, but in black. And they're extremely flattering and comfortable and I love them. This next item I have is a pair of shoes from Urban Outfitters. And I still have the box that they came in just because I wanted to show you guys. And I got these in the sale section, of course, because like Urban Outfitters is <laughs> I think it's overpriced, but um, I don't mind their sale prices. So I found these in my size. They were probably a return, but I don't care. Look how cute these are. And I swear, if you're my boyfriend or my mom or somebody that knows me, you probably think that I have enough black shoes that look like this, but these are different. They're like the sock style. And I just think they are so cool. Even with jeans, they would look really nice. So I love these. I haven't really had an occasion to wear them, but they're still in my favorites because I love them so much. Um, they're really comfortable because it actually feels like you're wearing a sock. You can see right here, it's like tight around the ankle, super stretchy, and just a little kitten heel. The style is Gwen Stretch Glove Boot, and I got it for $19.99. They're originally $90, and I got them for $19. So, yeah, that was a steal. Oh my god, I can't close this. There we go. The next thing I have is a pair of Nikes, and 
If you can't already tell, I am a bargain shopper. I'm always looking at like outlets or sale sections. I rarely like to buy shoes and clothes full price, especially Nikes, but um, I found these at my local Famous Footwear, which is where I find a lot of my Nikes actually. These are just a really cool neutral with a white sole. I don't know, I instantly fell in love with them. I saw them from across the room and I was like, I knew right away I didn't even try them on yet. I was like, I'm getting those. So I got these guys and they were only 45 bucks or something, or $50. And I haven't worn them yet because I'm like, if you can't tell, I'm very OCD about my new items and I want to use them when the time is appropriate and I may or may not have a trip coming up so I was kind of saving these for that. They kind of fit like a Nike Roche but they're not as dramatic of a slope, which is why I like them and they have cool texture. I don't know, I just love these so much and I've been looking for new Nikes but I haven't found any in months that I really wanted or that I thought were unique until I saw these guys. I love these so much and I love the color, obviously. Can you tell? The last two things I wanted to talk about are a book and a TV show. So the book I wanted to show is this book that my mom got me and I already mentioned this in the vlog. So if you've already seen that, I'm really sorry about repeating myself but I love this thing. Um, if you guys follow my Instagram or my YouTube, I guess you would know that I love design, I love the history of design, especially chairs. Um, I don't know, I just find it so fascinating just to see the different designs over time by different famous designers and this one shows a different famous design on every single page. This book was basically made for me. I don't know how my mom managed to find such a perfect book, but I love it on my bookshelf. It's the cutest size and um, it has 500 designs that matter for chairs. I love it. And I really want to know if this comes in any other um, subjects like tables or I don't know, bed storage, whatever. Uh, lights would be cool. I will link this down below if I can find it. She got this from a museum, so. Yeah, that was really nice of her and it looks cute on my bookshelf. So the last favorite I want to talk to you guys about is so good. You guys probably already know this, but it's called Evil Genius. It is a, I think it's a four or five part docu-series and my favorite genre of movies or even TV shows is documentaries. I rarely watch TV. I haven't turned the TV on in my house in like probably a couple years. Um, I only watch YouTube really if I have time. But last night my brother was like, Mimi, let's watch this new docu-series that's on Netflix. I was like, Grant, I don't have time for that. I have things to do. And he pushed play. And I'm not even kidding you, after 10 seconds, I was like, okay, let's watch this. <laughs> and I was hooked. It is so good. If you ever watched Making, I think it was called Making a Murderer. Um, it's exactly like this, but it's a little bit shorter. It's only, I think, four episodes, four or five episodes, and they're each 45 minutes. Um, but it's very similar in structure. It's about a weird murder that happened and lots of people were involved and it just got weirder and weirder and like more related. It was so addicting. We stayed up until one o'clock last night watching all of them. We like finished it. We couldn't even go to bed. I was like, Grant, we need to keep doing this. And it didn't help that Netflix had the like skip intro button and like play the next one right away. So we just like didn't even stand a chance sleeping last night. So we watched the whole thing. It is really good. I highly recommend you guys all check it out. It's based on the true story about the pizza bomber heist in 2003. I was too young to really know about this. I was only about eight. Um, but if any of you guys remember this, then you will probably be really interested in it. And if not, I don't wanna to give too much away about the plot. There was a bank robbery. There was a scavenger hunt. There was a guy that had um, a collar bomb, which is where it's strapped around his neck and it was just the weirdest thing and then more murders occurred right next to that one. It's so bizarre and it's just so captivating. So I highly recommend you guys watch it and if you do or if you've already seen it then comment down below and let me know what you guys think because I absolutely loved it. I guess that's the end of my favorites. I'm already excited to do the next one. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know it was really random but I've just come to the conclusion that I want to talk to you guys on this channel just about everything that I like or everything that I enjoy in life and not just interior design because my life is more than that. So I'm kind of opening up to more opportunities and letting myself do these other type of videos. So I hope you enjoy them. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this and subscribe so you don't miss the next one and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching.